do you want to feel like an alchemist while smelling good? Then you should have a perfume party at your next event. Perfume parties are a great way to celebrate weddings, birthdays, anything where you want to smell better. When you get a perfume bar from us, we take great pains to make sure that you are completely comfortable with setup and with mixing your scents. We include instructions and this video, but you're also welcome to email us or call us and ask us any sorts of questions about your bar when you're getting it set up. So here's some tips for how to have a great perfume bar. First, the space. Make sure that it's well ventilated and make sure that your surface is protected. If you have a glass table like us, you're pretty much set. However, if you don't, you'll want to protect your paint. You'll want to protect your table with plastic of some kind. A nice plastic tablecloth is perfect. They make some really pretty ones these days. Once you've got that, another layer of protection is plates. These plates we got at a dollar store for super cheap and they look really good and they have nice little indents in them so that we can put our bottles on the plates and if there were a spill it would be contained within the plate and not go everywhere. Very, very, very handy. You're going to have a set of oils to choose from in blending your scent. Actually, they may not always be oils. We offer alcohol-based perfumes too. You're going to get base notes, heart notes, and top notes. It's a good idea to start with your base notes and build from there so that if you mess up, you can just add a little bit more top notes to make it better. And in between your scents, sniffing coffee beans is a great way to clear out your nose. While you are blending, you can start with these tester strips, dip them into your bottle, set, uh, sniff them, and combine them. Wave them under your nose together to see how the scent might smell when it's combined. And then when you're ready, you can bend these scents up and put them down so that you don't mess up the table. Once you know about what combinations of scents you want, then you can start mixing them in your sample vial. And from there, you would finally put your final perfume into this. Of course, you can skip all those steps and mix directly into your perfume bottle if you want to save time or you're really confident. We just like to offer all these extra steps just in case. And as you're working, we also offer these recipe cards so that you can keep track of exactly what you've put into your perfume so that you can make it later or keep this as a memento. So this particular perfume bar setup is a really great way to celebrate any sort of event and it's also a great way to give your guests something that they can take home with them as a memento of the fun time that you had together. So happy blending!